So first up, you're gonna have your shampoo system. This is really cool because you've got a disposable tray that makes it 10 times easier to empty and get out. So it's fantastic. It's still got a bit of miracle shine in it. I couldn't get it all off, but I'm hoping it'll come out with a mopping. All we do is wind our belt off because it was just lightly held on to hold that in. So what you've done, you've wound your belt off, flip it over, and you're literally gonna pull that out and that's your obviously your shampoo part, okay? So we're gonna take that belt off and we're gonna put on our mop system, which is just a case of putting the belt on and slotting her in. I find this system a lot easier as well because with the older system you had two different sizes and you had to make sure you put it the right way around. But this works really, really well. So then all we do is we've got to make sure hold our belt there, put our finger there, and if you can see inside, as we turn it, a little loop will come round and pick up the belt. I don't know if you can see. So that's turning, and that's, there you go, picking up the belt, like so. Okay, so now that, that is more or less set up. So then we're gonna jump over to the Avalia. So with the Avalia, um, obviously I've wound, my belt's wound off, I always leave it off when I'm not using it. But if you was to have it on, I'll just demonstrate. So I'll just wind the belt back on. So for those of you that have finished vacuuming or whatever, I'll put that back on. Okay, so what you're gonna do is lift your headlight up, spin your belt at the moment, it's green to green, so the belt's on, turn it red to red, belt's off, flip that over and take that off. You have to make sure that the toe touch control is fully up to release that, otherwise you'll have problems getting it off. And then all we do is get our shampoo system, should I say a half door system, clip that on and flip that over, okay? Wind your belt back on, like so. We can put our tray in, that's okay, there you go. We just need to lift that up. Okay, and then we'll get to the next process. On the, ta on the new tanks, you've got settings. So on our older version, we just had on or off and we had to gauge it in between how much foam we wanted to get. It's the same system, works exactly the same. The Kirby blows in the bottom and then actually blows out there, blows the foam and feeds the actual foam onto the floor. So you've got three levels. So if you fill up to level one, you put one capful in, level two, two capfuls, and level three, three capfuls, exactly the same as the shampoo. So then what you've got is you've got two different types. So this one just says to spray the floor and obviously mop it in front. And then you've got the concentrate. If you fill the tank up to the first line, put one capful in and so on. Fill up to the second line, two capfuls and so on. Okay, I'm only gonna fill it up to the first line today because um, we're only gonna do a small area of the floor. I'm just trying to test the system out and see how good it actually works. Just make sure that you've cleaned that floor spotless before you run the mop along it. My biggest fear is if we've got a dog and she could have put a bit, there could be a bit of grit on the floor. So I've got to make sure there's no grit because my biggest fear is that mop picking up and scratching my bamboo floor to bits. What we're going to do is we're going to get a tank. We're going to fill this, run the tank until we get some warm water. I've already ran this so I know it's warm because it takes forever in a day. So then what we'll do is we get our shampoo tank and we're going to fill it up just to the first line. Okay, so as you can see, oops, that's on the first line. Fill our cap and put one cap full of the concentrate in. And there's just enough. And we pour that in our tank. Waste not, what not. So next up, we're going to release our bag. So in the top, as you know, we've got a clip. So I'll do that off camera, but you should know how to release the bag. Okay, then we literally grab it with our hand here. Underneath, there's a little handle. Hold the curb at the back end and twist. And off it comes. So that's the handle I was on about. Just there. So you literally put your hand in and twist off. And it's the same when we go to put it back on. We just line these up. Line for line and twist. Okay, so we'll take that off. So now we're gonna put our tank on. It's literally a slot on and push. And that now is activated. What we've got now is our little hose that goes on the bottom. So what I do is I tend to twist it on here first. 
like so. Then line it up at the bottom, twist it round, line it up, and it should just pop on. And that is your shampoo system set up. We've vacuumed our floor. Obviously, I'm not going to show you that because you know how to vacuum your floor. We've got, I've made sure there's nothing on here. I've swept it as well, just make sure it's pretty spotless. So, we've set the uh, avalier up. It's all plugged in. The shampoo we filled, obviously filled up the shampoo tank just for the first line. Um, this is going to be quite loud as well, so if you've got headphones on, take them out or turn them down. Um, so what we do is we turn that down as far as it will go. We turn this to hard floor. Right, so let's try her out. Um, they only advise that you obviously don't walk on it after you've mopped it, because you get footprints. With that, but this is been quite loud again, as I say. I'm going to take that lock off. Just turn, take headphones out or turn your volume down, and we'll see how she goes. Make sure it's in neutral, so it's on a wooden floor, you don't want spinning. And here we go. Pick it up, just turn it off, same as you do with the shampoo. <laughs> section of the floor um, it's, it's, it's damp but I mean it's drying pretty quick so as you can see um, in my opinion that hard floor system mop does a brilliant job obviously just wear some shoes when you're doing it if you've got a bamboo floor it's quite slippy and just try not to walk on it as you do it um, but I say that was my first attempt and as you know my dog's been in season and it's just picked up and scrubbed all the blood off the floor um, and it all went in that collection tray and it works an actual treat.
So that's my floor half mopped. I'm going to get, get to finishing the rest off. As far as I'm concerned, this is a fantastic system. Works really, really well. Cleans your floor brilliantly. Saves me using a mop. And because it collects all the water up after, um, yeah, works really well. And the floor is dry within 10 minutes. So again, those of you new to the channel, make sure you slap that subscribe button, ding that bell to not miss any other ep upcoming episodes. I hope these tutorials are really informative and I'm, I'm trying to do a step-by-step -step guide just to make it easier for people that are new to the Kirby family or, or just trying out new accessories from Kirby. If you like the episode, hit the like button, comment down below if you've actually used the system and what you thought of it. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.